Knong Sa, a region so unique and natural, has become a prime destination for many Cambodian travelers. A scenery that both calm your soul down and boost your adrenaline. Let us take you on a journey to Knong Sa. A mesmerizing weekend trip with your family, friends, or loved ones. A journey that takes you through the mountain ranges, muddy terrains, lush canopy, and low hanging clouds. Different travelers can come up with different schedule for their trip. But for us, we begin a bit early in the morning at around 2 a.m. Electronic devices such as camera and phones have to be packed properly since this is a rainy season. From Phnom Penh, travelers can choose to travel on the National Road 4 or a portion of the Phnom Penh Sienokwil Expressway until we arrived at the Kampung Spu provincial city of Chbamon before we begin traveling on National Road 44. The location is remote and the roads are quite bumpy. After three hours of driving, we have arrived at the village where the villagers will guide us to the location on top of the mountain. Breakfast and lunch are prepared. While power tillers drivers are assembling their team to take us through the foot of the mountain. The trail up the foot of the mountain will be of course muddy and bumpy. The ride is not very comfortable but of course again it is an adventure. The power tillers could only take us to a certain distance from the village. Climbing up the mountain will be our job. It is important to often take some break under the shade and stay hydrated along the way up the mountain as the heat can be energy consuming for some people. So 
so we are right now at my gesture. So good morning, and uh, we are right now as I guess uh, maybe halfway uh, until uh, the destination at the, you know the highest uh, point of the mountain, and the hike. Uh, even though you see it like this, but it's not too easy for you know urbanists. It's a bit uh, steep sometimes. The weather can be a bit hot. Uh, you know near the afternoon, and uh, the thing that takes you down is the humidity of the air, which makes you sweat strongly. Uh, many people stop along the way to catch their breath and uh, overall it's not for beginner actually for this hike and uh, one should train a bit uh, in order to experience uh, this trail uh, to the fullest so um, we will continue up and uh, we will see what is up there uh, for myself I'm not sure what I should expect also So although the hike can be very exhausting for many people, but you know, in compensation, uh, we get the view. So behind me is the mountain ranges in Kampong Spu. And you know, even though now it is a bit sunny, we can see, you know, a whole lot of ranges out there. You know, the flat land in combination with, you know, the mountain. And um, we are still a long way to go up there. Uh, can you see up there? So it might take a bit, like an hour or two, before we get to our destination. So after about four hours of hiking, uh, for some people it might take them six hours uh, if they take a more regular break along the way. Uh, now we are almost arriving uh, at the peak of the mountain of Knong Sa. And you know, upon arriving at a higher altitude, uh, you see an increasing presence of uh, pine trees and also the air is getting chiller. Um, at the same time, because uh, this is a wet season, monsoon season, uh, the soil can be a bit wet, uh, can be a bit slippery for some people, so a mountain shoe would be very, very important. And uh, it would be a nice lunch after a very, very exhausting uh, trekking across the mountain. It didn't take long before canopies of pine trees disappear behind our back and a lush meadow appear in front of our eyes. It is a great relief for everyone as they have made it to the camping site. Some allow themselves to have a nice afternoon rest. While others trek to the foot of the mountain for picturesque location.
With no electricity, travelers have to rely on their portable power bank. So as I was uh, informed by the seller down uh, at the village, uh, she said that normally it would be Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, you know, during these days, uh, tourists come to the mountain uh, a lot. So behind me, of course, uh, there are rows and rows of uh, tents. And uh, over here, um, the rangers, they are setting up their camouflage tents uh, to protect the tourists. And of course, uh, the dining table here. And also a very big Cambodian flag at the top, waving against the uh, wind. And uh, over there, yes, uh, the lush green uh, uh, hill on the mountain uh, where people spend uh, uh, hours and hours uh, from Phnom Penh and from other provinces just to see this uh, beautiful uh, uh, tourism site in Kampung Spu. So after hiking through the mountain ranges, and uh, it is a bit raining now during the evening hours, um, the travelers are preparing campfire for cooking and other uh, gathering and as well as some drinks for the night uh, before we will wake up early in the morning tomorrow to witness the sunrise. Fires are made for cooking or heating up during the chilling evening air. As people begin to die, chit chat, relax, and sleep.